This video is brought to you by Hollow 12. Hollow 12 biology courses are aligned with the curriculum of over 150 countries. The human body is full of bacteria. In fact, it is estimated it contains more bacteria cells than human cells. Most bacteria in the body are harmless. Some are even helpful. For example, in our digestive system, we have bacteria that are very necessary to help our bodies function in a normal way. A relatively small number of these species cause disease. Bacteria are single cell microbes. The cell structure is simpler than that of other organisms as there is no nucleus membrane or organelles. Some bacteria have an extra circle of genetic material called plasmid. The plasmid often contains genes that give the bacteria some advantage over other bacteria. Bacteria As we have already seen, bacteria are prokaryotes, which means that they are single-celled organisms that lack a nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. Many of them are pathogens, which means they can infect plants and animals, and reproduce quickly. Bacterial cells can release toxins that damage our cells. However, as we now know, not all bacteria are harmful, some are well tolerated by our bodies. Some are even beneficial. For example, there is a large and diverse population of bacteria in our gut, that helps us with digestion. Now we'll look at some examples of bacterial disease. Why don't you try our free course in A or app? Download now from where you get your apps or go to our website, hollow12.com. Bacterial diseases. Salmonella bacteria are one of the most common causes of food poisoning. Salmonella infection causes nausea, vomiting, fever, stomach cramps, and diarrhea. It is most often spread through contaminated and undercooked foods such as chicken, turkey, eggs, and raw vegetables. To limit salmonella in humans, all chickens in the UK are vaccinated against salmonella. Risk can also be limited by ensuring all food is fully cooked and prepared in hygienic conditions. Another bacterial disease is gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease that causes yellow or green discharge from the penis or vagina, and it even causes pain while peeing. In the past, it was easily treated with antibiotics. But, now some of the bacteria have developed resistance to the antibiotics that have made the treatment more challenging. As it spreads via sexual contact, the best way to prevent the spread of this disease is to use barrier methods of contraception, like condoms, during sexual intercourse. Go to our website, hollow12.com, to find out more about our great courses. Thank you. See below for links and don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell to keep notified of our latest videos.